it's Vera, and today I have a special surprise for you. I'm going to show you how to install a Samsung SSD. You might ask, what is an SSD? It's a solid state drive. And the one I have for you is a Samsung um, solid state drive, 512 gigabytes. It is the best one on the market. If you read any of the reviews out there, this one always comes out tops. Um, so I think it's awesome, and Samsung was kind enough to send me one to create a video with. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do after you pick up your Samsung SSD is go to the Samsung website, which I have pulled up here, and you're going to want to download their data migration tool. This will allow you to make an exact replica of your current system and everything that you have on it so that you do not have to reinstall all of your software again because that's such a pain and you have to remember all the keys. So really, it's just better to use their data migration tool. So after you've gone to the Samsung website and you've pulled up their data migration tool, go ahead and select your language. I selected English, since that's what I speak, and I went ahead and downloaded the software. After you have the software downloaded, the next thing that you're going to want to do is install it. So once you have your data migration software installed, uh, it'll prompt, uh, put up a win window prompt and it'll say to go ahead and begin migrating your data over. So here is the Samsung SSD drive. Pretty little thing, isn't it? So what we're going to do is hook up the SSD drive to our computer. To do that, we are going to use this handy dandy Samsung SSD to USB cord. You can see it's got the SSD side and the USB side. And basically this will allow us to migrate all of the data from the laptop onto the new SSD. So now that I've got my SSD plugged into my laptop, um, you can see I still have the, the prompt up to go ahead and begin the migration. I'm going to go ahead and click Start to start this process. So now that I've got the SSD hooked up to my computer, I've got the software installed, I've closed out all of my other software programs, everything else that was running on my laptop. So all that I have running right now is the SSD and the data migration software. Um, since the SSD is larger than my current computer's hard drive. I'm going to have no problems creating an exact duplicate of my laptop on the new SSD drive. This can take anywhere from minutes to hours, depending on how much information you have stored in your computer. So once you begin the process, sit back, relax, have a cup of coffee, have a soda, whatever you're going to do, and just wait for it to do its thing. So, while I'm waiting for my data to be cloned, I want to make sure and tell you, never disconnect this disk while the cloning is in process, because there could be a problem, so just don't do it. Just leave it alone, don't touch it. Like I said, go have a cup of coffee, have a drink, take a walk, play with your dog, you know, just you know, do something fun. And we're back. We just migrated all of my data from my original laptop hard drive onto the Samsung solid state drive. So I had about 172 gigs worth of stuff, and like I said, it took us about an hour and 45 minutes. Um, you can see on the little data migration software that we were successful because there's a little green check mark. And so what it is now asking us to do is to shut down the laptop, and we're going to do the fun, exciting laptop surgery. Woohoo! So what I'm going to be doing is shutting my laptop down, and I'm going to be installing the Samsung SSD in the place of my uh, laptop's current hard drive. Won't that be exciting? So let's go ahead and get started with this part. Bye bye friend. And it is shut down. Dun dun dun. All right, so my laptop is shut down. I just unplugged the Samsung SSD from my uh, laptop. I'm gonna take the special cord out of the SSD. So you can see, here it is. It's really that much bigger than the size of my hand. It's, it's amazing that it can hold so much in such a small device. I'm going to unplug my laptop. Safety first, kids. And I'm going to flip it over. And now I'm going to take the battery out. So I'm unlocking the battery so that I can slide it out. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to take out the current hard drive. So I've got this awesome little screwdriver. I'm going to 
gently pull out the old hard drive. Take off the rubber sides. I'm going to unscrew the four screws that are on the sides. Now this screwdriver has a very slightly magnetic tip which keeps you from losing screws like these little tiny ones. I'm going to slide the hard drive out of the case. And there we go. It's ready for the new Samsung hard drive. I'm sliding this in and it's going the same direction as this one so you can see the bottom. They line up. So this way I know that it's going to be inserted and have all the connections in there correctly. So I'm going to screw this back together. See the magnetic screwdriver? How cool is that? Now we're doing the fourth and final screw, which just did not want to go in. Go in, little buddy. Go in your home. I'm going to put the rubber casing back on. See how easy this was to put back together? Super simple four screws, two rubber pieces. Now I've got the Samsung SSD in the case. And we're going to slide it back into the computer. You slide it in there very gently and you'll feel its seat. You tuck the ribbon down and it's in. Voila! Now I'm going to close it back up. And then we get to see the true test whether or not it will start back up. Fingers crossed! Alright, I've got this screwed back in. I'm going to put my battery back in the computer. I'm going to flip my machine over. See my lovely sugar pill and Voltaire stickers. And now I'm going to plug my laptop back in. Now we're ready for the true test. I'm going to hit the power button and we're going to see what happens. The longest two seconds, it's saying, please wait. I hate waiting. I'm impatient. Let's see what happens when I put in my password. And voila, it worked. I didn't lose any data. I didn't lose any programs. Everything's still there. This is awesome. After installing my new awesome Samsung SSD, my shutdown time has gone from about 33 seconds to about 10 seconds, and my startup time has gone from being about a minute 52 to being about 38 seconds. So that's a huge improvement in speed, and I'm very excited over that. Phage is very excited too, apparently. So you know, opening up a laptop is not something I would normally do. Um, back when I used to use a desktop, I would open that thing up all the time. I would install my own video cards. You know, I would do surgery on it, whatever I was going to do. I would play with it. I, I was brave. I was bold. I always knew if I got into trouble that I could ask somebody for help. With a laptop, I've been a lot more hesitant. 
I've only ever opened up a laptop like once or twice, and usually it was like, oh dear God, what am I doing? I don't want to break it. Um, I've like, you know, put cooling back into a laptop when, when I was afraid it was going to fry. But really, usually I ask somebody else for help with the laptop. I am not the brave person to go open up the laptop on my own. So when Samsung asked me to record this video, I was like, well, if I can do it, anyone can do it. So to recap, the Samsung SSD 840 Pro series was very easy to install, and it's very fast. I am so impressed with how fast my system is running now. I love the fact that I didn't have to reinstall any software. I love the fact that all of my data is there, nothing is corrupted. This is the easiest sort of thing to install, even for somebody like me. So it's no wonder that this particular uh, Pro Series line is the highest rated of any SSD drive that's out there right now. So now you've seen me do data migration from my old hard drive to my awesome new SSD drive. I've had Phaedra here for moral support as I did surgery on my baby, my laptop, my all. If I can do it, any of you can do it. So I have to know, did you enjoy watching me do this with my laptop? Would you be interested in seeing me do other things like this? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.